Hi Leo, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general monthly reading for January of 2019. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a happy and a safe uh, New Year's as well. I am in a different location uh, where my office is. It's very cold down there. So I have moved my location to do readings to stay a little bit warmer during the winter months. Uh, sorry for the lighting. I tried my best. It is raining outside. I have like five windows in here. Of course, the day when I want to do this, it's very cloudy and rainy. So there goes that lack of light even more. Uh, so what I do here for for the monthlies, I've decided and I was guided by my spirit guide to do so. Uh, instead of the weeklies, how I do the weeklies with the 10 card spread, with the clarifiers, the outcome, for the monthlies, for more detail in regards to uh, for the whole month, I've been led to do a 15 card spread with clarifiers and outcome card as well. So that is what the plan is. I'm going to read across five. I have 15 cards, uh, three rows of five basically. I'm going to read across just to explain real quickly uh, how I'm doing this. Uh, three rows across of five. I'm going to read the five across uh, all the way down and then I'm going to take more energy, more messages here and read the rows down of three, okay, uh, to get more messages. So whomever this is meant for, for Leo here, you have the six of pentacles. So I do feel that somebody wants more of an even give and take in their life. They want that balance, okay? I feel that you are heading out of the, trying to get out of that dark mode of the five of pentacles here. Uh, but you're heading towards that waiting still with that nine of pentacles. These two people are out in the cold. They have bare feet. Their heads are down. You know, you can't see the future because where you're walking towards is still waiting. Okay. Is what this is saying. But you do want more of an even give and take. I do feel that is definitely in regards to a relationship as well. The card right after that is the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is known for Dude, I want faster movement is what this is saying, okay? You want that movement. The other message that I was seriously picking up, this is known for that faster movement, okay? It's literally daggering into the Eight of Swords. So when you have sword energy, which is mental anguish, okay? Uh, swords represent your thoughts. You're surrounded by your swords. It doesn't help much when you have the Eight of Wands literally daggering at this eight of swords so it's a very uh mind spinning energy is what i'm feeling here kind of entrapped with your thoughts and spinning out of control because you seriously want this movement in regards to what you're waiting for to get out of that dark mode and head towards what you truly want okay which is balance in a relationship i feel that you are deep in your thoughts you're trying to heal the situation you're definitely thinking about things in regards to a very karmic situation you've learned these lessons you're trying to heal from these lessons of this situation that you're patiently waiting for here's another waiting one okay in regards to the pentacle energy which is that abundance that happiness okay these seeds have been planted it's a karmic situation meaning that you're learning the lessons during this journey just waiting okay i do feel that this waiting is coming to a close with the world card right after that the world her head is literally turned looking and that's how i take the cards what they're pointing at looking at position that uh, her head is literally turned the world card is known for that completion major arcana so it's kind of like that that waiting is going to come to a completion i feel okay and you're going to find that groundedness in regards to the empress here uh the empress is a major arcana she is known for the mother figure of the universe she's a very nurturing uh person okay she's very grounded and she's in her cart and spirit knows exactly how i roll with this and i feel that that waiting for this happiness that's been building up that has been stressful for you you're now going to get that groundedness and you're going to move forward is what i'm feeling here in your life there's definite movement oh wow together with the chariot here that is that movement you're moving away okay from that dark spell okay of being in 
the dark here with the moon energy trying to make that decision in regards to a bitter a better and brighter future with the sun card as well okay and that better brighter future is not just the ace of cups but as well as the ace of swords so there's that 11 divinely guided i feel very karmic situation as well you're going for your new cup of love and the truth to be spoken here uh and going to have that movement all right now in regards to the three cards down, I will sum everything up, don't worry. Uh, in regards to the three cards down of the 15 card spread, here's that six of pentacles uh, for that balance. I feel that you're trying to heal the situation, regain that balance in order to have that movement, okay? I feel that you are that you want this movement. You're, you're getting out of that dark spell. That five is known for that change, okay, of a consistent of a, a karmic situation of learning the lessons and moving out of, did I not just say dark spell? Thank you. Uh, here's that moon of that dark, making that decision, okay, in regards to two cards, basically, of the nine of pentacles with the seven of pentacles, these seeds have been planted, okay, waiting for a better, brighter future as well. I feel that there is going to be this movement with this eight of wands energy here. There is going to be that completion in regards to that waiting time frame, and you're going to have a new start in regards to communication, okay? I feel, here's the main message, seriously, in regards to the eight of swords, that's that mental entrapment. I feel that once you are able to ground yourself, rest your mind, heal your mind as well with the four of swords over here in regards to learning these lessons, you're going to have that movement with the empress here and have that new start with the ace of cups. So bottom line is this, what I'm seriously feeling for whomever this is meant for, for the sign of Leo, uh, basically what I'm feeling here is that you want that even give and take in regards to a very karmic situation, okay? I do feel now it's not going to resonate for everybody, uh, but I do feel there could definitely be a third party because your outcome is the two of wands. So there's definitely a decision looking out towards that horizon, trying to make that decision in regards to the six of cups, which is a past love, okay? To not only have that happiness of that completion of that love, you know, the three of cups is raising that cup up and, and celebrating in regards to love, in regards to somebody from your past, but as well as in regards to making a decision of somebody from your past in regards to a third party, okay? Especially even more so with this Wheel of Fortune. That's a karmic situation that's also inclined to detail a uh, third party situation, to me anyway. That's how I read that. So bottom line is this, what I'm feeling is that you want this balance in this relationship. You're gradually getting out of that dark mode. You've been waiting. It's kind of been a they just said mind spell. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, spirit. Okay. They must have Mr. Webster up there on the other side with them. I don't know. But there's that waiting, okay, where it's kind of made you kind of dizzy in regards to your thoughts, okay? I feel that you need to heal your mind, okay? Rest on it. Sleep, okay? You rejuvenate your mind, actually, when you sleep, okay? Rest on it. Get that balance back into your life again after dealing with a very karmic situation that you've been waiting for this completion. That completion is to calm the mind, to get your, uh, your, uh, your stableness about you kind of thing, all right? Uh, definitely in order to get that movement because I do feel that once you are able to release that mental anguish and get that stable in you know, in that, in your life kind of thing, that's when that movement is going to take place. And that, and that place is to be able to move forward, get out of that dark spell. Okay. And head towards that sun of that truth of that communication and that new start in regards to love. You're making a decision in regards to some of you out there in regards to a third party situation, but I'm really feeling in regards to getting your happy on, getting that happiness, okay? Uh, learning the lessons that has been extremely confusing. You know, it's kind of like the energy of, I can't make a decision because my mind is basically mush. You know, you, nobody can really make a decision until you have that, uh, mental capability of getting it together in your mind, resting your mind, healing your mind after a very trying time is what this is saying to me. That's coming to a close. You're going to get your act together. You're going, that's what my, my dad always used to say that. Please excuse uh, military term, I guess. But 
he, you're going to get your act together. You're going to get your balance back in your life. And that's when you're going to make that decision to have that movement and get out of that dark spell for a brighter, better future. Because then you're going to see that Ace of Swords energy. Swords not just re represent communication, but it also represents that clarity of the mind. Okay. And now you're going to see that light as to say, hey, I'm going to have that movement. I'm going to get out of that mental anguish. I'm going to end this chapter that I've been waiting for in regards to learning these lessons of this relationship, calm the mind, heal the mind, get my balance together, get my act together, and move forward. Uh, normally, uh, just to throw this out there, uh, I always refer to her as the missus of the chariot. So to have the chariot here with the empress here of that movement, uh, that's together. That's a Mr. and Mrs. of movement. So I do feel that there's definite movement in regards to a relationship after making a decision in regards to possibly somebody from your past to get that happy on, you know, that celebration, that raising of the cup, and that victory in regards to this relationship. So that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. I hope that this resonates for you guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as well as click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies as well as dailies. Uh, and now I'm on to the monthlies. Now for the new year of 2019, everybody be safe, be happy this new year, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.